Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. I am outside, it's a beautiful day. Looks like there's a thunderstorm coming, so if I get rained on, it is what it is. Might be a little bit of wind in this mic. I'm sorry if that's the case. I'm um, just trying to get everything set up here. If you don't know what's going on, Snark Week just got a lot snarkier. So, if you are around yesterday, you noticed that I released a video about Shannon Rose bitching and moaning on her YouTube channel about how I, uh, a headband company or some shit, they blocked her because they don't want to be associated with her. And I said, well, hey, here's why they don't want to be associated with you. And then I provided some receipts of her doing Nazi fetish porn and um, killing crawfish, crayfish, whatever you want to call them on a video. Since then, shit has exploded like exploded. So today we're covering that. We're gonna go through Shannon Rose's video that she made about me. I had a million messages of people, about people. She went on her Instagram stories and she went ballistic. She just said she'd never heard of me before and then she said that this guy found so much about this guy, he was a pastor and what he did and she accused me of being a pedo. She accused me of a bunch of other things and lying. And so obviously I gotta have to rebut everything she says here. Um, since, then, I, since this video even started, I've been talking to her, we've been setting some voice messages back and forth just because I'm like really you're gonna tell everybody I'm a pedo that's kind of a little bit crazy don't you think and so she I'm gonna respond with what she has kind of told me it's gonna be a long video I apologize it's gonna be so freaking long but we got to cover this because if someone's gonna come at me with an allegation of what she did okay obviously I have to respond am I worried no I'm not worried because you know, a credible allegation would be a credible allegation if you had receipts. Of course she has no receipts, because there are no receipts. I literally don't even have a speeding ticket. I think I have a speeding ticket 20 years ago. I have the cleanest record on earth. I don't really need to stand up for myself too much, but I will talk about why I think she said that. And we're gonna get into that in a minute, but geez, it's about to get crazy. Let's do it. So if you don't know who Shannon Rose is, again, just go back and watch any of my videos. She is an ex-porn star who did a ton of what's called fetish porn. And that fetish porn is gross. I'm sorry. And she did respond in a, in a message, and I'll, I'll just cliff notes it for you here. Basically, she was contracted to a company that kind of forced her to do it, she said. And had she had to buy her way out of the contract in the end and all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not believing it. It's bullshit. I mean, as a human being, as an adult, you have a choice to make, right? The choices are don't do racist fetish porn or do racist fetish porn. There's two choices. And as an adult, your choices matter. And I said this in the last video that let's bring back teaching our children that the choices you make could have long lasting ramifications for your future. One of the reasons I do this channel and Shannon Rose is obviously confused about it too. And we'll cover it is that these children that are on the internet, not only are they could be targets of predators or whatever the case may be, but they have so much personal information on the internet about their lives growing up that these parents have no idea the damage that they could possibly be doing to the kids' futures, right? Talking about periods, talking about, you know, doing, like if you, the one video that kind of blew up for this, and I'll, I'll keep talking about that today, is the Everly LeBrant video where she's got something, five million subscribers, where over 70% of those subscribers are adult males watching her. And those are engagement analytics, not the analytics that you see in the back end on her Instagram, but that's actually who's watching it. And so that was the one video that kind of blew this whole thing up, that really set this whole mission right into motion. Where I was like, this is it, I'm done. Piper Raquel is a video that we're gonna be doing soon. Hers is even worse. It's just getting crazy. So I know I'm getting tangents. But I wanna just reiterate here, before we get into this video, the reason I sit here, I snark on people, is because it brings people here, and who like to laugh, who like to hear people getting roasted, or whatever the case may be, but it brings people here so that I can give the overall message that exploiting children is wrong. And Shannon Rose will obviously say, no it's not. And she says that in this video coming up soon. Um, but yes it is. And so I'll tell you why, Shannon, I know you're watching this because she asked me to watch it and respond and this is what I'm doing. And so I'll tell you why, and hopefully you can understand why, and maybe understand why people like Tara Henderson, like Aaron Williams, like Sh um, Shay Lee, like so many other, like uh, Br uh, Brittany Morrow, um, and a bunch of other family vloggers. I can't even, there's so many to name, I can't even list them all. It's been amazing. Have taken their children off because they see the dangers. I'm not saying you're doing it maybe on purpose, and maybe a lot of family vloggers don't realize that they're doing it, but some do. Some understand their analytics. If you know what's going on in the back end of this, you know that there are predators watching, you know that there are predator playlists, you know that there are timestamps in people's comment sections, which is why YouTube took them away and gave them back for some reason. It's gross. There is a whole subsect of people who love this stuff for the fetish of it. 
And if anybody knows more about that than anybody, it won't be me, it's gonna be Shannon Rose, who lived in that world and who messaged me and said, that world is disgusting. There are men who like need this, they can't get off without it, and so they do that. And so when you're doing, Shannon, and all these other family vloggers, is inadvertently or advertently putting out fetish stuff that men love, can't get off without. And you have admitted yourself that those people exist, and so if we know that they exist and you admit it, then they do exist. And so, again, the reason I do this is for that reason. And so, yeah, it doesn't. what I do does not agree with everybody. A lot of people will say, my detractors, the 30 or 40 of them that go to all my other detractors' videos, whoever makes videos about me, they're the same. If you go to the videos about people who make videos about me, who hate me, look at the comment section. Look at the same 30, maybe 40 people leaving the same types of comments, and they're the same people who just hate me. They go everywhere to hate me, and that's fine. That's how YouTube works. That's how this rolls. And I signed up for it. That's great. There's one thing I ask people not to do. Don't talk about my wife and children, because they don't, they have nothing to do with this channel, okay? And, and if you come for them, no holds barred, f you. It's, it's over for you. Just leave them out of this. They don't want to be a part of it. They're not a part of it. I don't, I don't exploit my children for money. I don't, they're like, there's like four pictures of them on my Instagram because they're still my family, okay? And so, again, when Shannon, what Shannon Rose has done here has laid the gauntlet down and has said some shit, and so we're going to rebut it, and then we're going to talk to you a little bit more about what she has done, okay? Because this shit gets crazy. This might have to be two parts because this is going to be a long-ass video. So, have I clarified anything? The reason I'm here, you know, even if you don't agree with the idea that family vloggers are exploiting children, sorry, you're wrong. Because... Because I have shown you in past videos that there are predator playlists. Now, if I can prove to you that there are predator playlists, does that not prove that this is dangerous, right? There are family vloggers that took their kids off because they someone ran into them at a park that was really creepy, and they're like, okay, I'm getting my kids off. Jess' fam was approached by a fan who drove four hours to see her because they knew where she was. This shit is dangerous, and I've said this from the beginning as well. Why do we have to wait until one of these children are kidnapped, killed, murdered, whatever otherwise hurt right and at the at minimum bullied at school because of what their parents are putting online of where their parents are at minimum okay but why are we waiting until something crazy happens because as we know the world is sick and shannon rose is a perfect example of the work that she has done for these people for these sick people she has filled that gap for them and she understands these people so if anybody knows the danger of the of the shit of the of the men who are watching this stuff shannon would know so that's my point there. Anyway, let's bring up her video here. Because guess what? Every time Maybe people you keep on believing lies I'm about not, me. I'm not saying you sound it's crazy. Let me tell you something. You might laugh and say it's cool, but when it's a bunch of celebrities out here taking drugs and committing suicide and killing themselves, it's not fucking cool. Okay, so she's. I think she's in this scenario. Shannon Rose is Nicki Minaj, and she's saying, when you are say, spreading lies, saying all these things, whatever that. If there's artists that they're doing drugs and committing suicide, it's on the person saying the, the words, okay? Now, she's going to allude to this probably a bunch of times, that what I'm saying here could potentially be dangerous for other people to be like, well, I'm going to commit suicide. She said that in her post, too, on Instagram last night. And so, I likely she's going to say that a bunch of times here. I haven't really saw, seen this whole thing. I've seen the first five minutes. So, so when she connects that, I just want to point out right off the top before she continues to say that. That is an absolute humongous insult to people who actually struggle with those types of things. To say that a guy on the internet is making fun of me because I exploit children, so I'm going to commit suicide is absolutely. She's using that as, as ammo, right? She's saying, well, if he keeps doing this, then geez, he's going to be responsible if someone takes their life or whatever the case may be. We'll we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. You need to think because it's not on you when the heat is not on you. Of course, it's cool. If you felt the heat, it would not be cool, man. You will never know what it's like. I'm not. I like how she blanked out when she said my end part, when we're about to show you how many times she's actually said the actual word in videos. Thank to constantly be lied on, to constantly be bullied, to constantly be attacked. You would never. Hey you guys, okay, before I get into this video, because I just filmed the whole video, and then I had gotten a bunch of messages on Instagram, and one of them was from another very popular influencer that this person has been going after, and I guess making multiple videos about harassing and bullying this person. And again, you're gonna throw out words like harassing and bullying, they, they use these words because they're the buzzwords of the day, the harassment and bullying. But in the end, where I stand on that, when I when my rebuttal to that is, then stop exploiting children if you don't want to be called out and made fun of. If in the end, me making fun of somebody's ugly curtains is going to, you know, convince them that maybe this isn't worth it to put my children on here, cool. That's, that's acceptable to me. So I'm not in here being crazy. I'm on here snarking and I'm on here roasting people. 
If you're on the internet, okay, and you want to make a living off of YouTube, this is going to happen. People are going to make videos about you, like Shannon has done about me, and I've done about her and others, okay? You get to enjoy the absolute decadence of wealth by putting, turning a camera on and ex exploiting your children to make money. Expect it. This is part and parcel to being a celebrity, okay? I'm not saying I'm a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. I'm just saying these people, all these celebrities are like, oh, what was me? Then don't do dumb shit. How about that? Almost to the point of suicide. Okay, now she said almost to the point of suicide. Now, this is again, she's saying that as ammo to say, if he continues to make fun of people and one of them commits suicide, it's all my fault. Again, that is a absolute and utter disgrace to say something like that. If you are struggling with mental health to the point where a bald fat guy like me in my basement is making fun of you and your curtains and your cooking and everything else because you exploit your children, you need to get off this platform. That is not a safe place for you. This is not a safe space. And it's never gonna be a safe space. You cannot put yourself into the public eye and expect to be in a safe space. It will never happen, okay? You are gonna be, if you're gonna put your life out there for people to pick apart and watch and enjoy and your kids to be picked apart and to watch and enjoy and maybe possibly have Pluto's look at them and stuff, this is, again, this is part and parcel. It is the way this goes. It's like it's new to these people. And she's making it sound like I'm the only one out here doing this. I was literally in tears listening to this voice memo that was sent to me. I'm so disgusted and sickened by this person and the videos that he's making about people and sending his followers to attack all of these innocent moms that he's making out to be these horrible people. When Let me stop you there. They're not innocent. Again, we're going to rebut everything she says because it's important to say this. When you exploit your children on YouTube for money, you're not innocent, right? That's that's always been my stance. I'm not coming after people randomly. If that were the case, I would do so many more people. My main mission here is to draw attention to the fact that children are being exploited on the internet. That's it. And there's people making videos like, or there's people leaving comments in my comment section like, why don't you go after tra child sex traffickers and all this stuff? Why don't you? Why don't you? Again, I'm doing what I can with the platform that I have, okay? So if I'm drawing attention to one aspect of child exploitation, so be it. If you're so, you know, if you're so passionate about the child exploitation and the sex trafficking industry, what are you doing about it? There's all these freaking, there's all these like couch potatoes sitting there telling me what to do with my platform, and yet they do nothing except for complain about other people either. And it's, it needs to be said how hypocritical it is. So many people on these threads and stuff that make threads about me and do videos are like how I make fun of people, but they make fun of me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm fair game. Make fun of me. Yeah, I'm fat. I'm ugly. Whatever the case may be. I dance bad. I'm gross. Whatever. You know, that's fine. It's the way this works. But it's don't be a hypocrite. If you're going to come at me, you know, don't come at me in and say the same thing I'm doing and then do the same thing you're accusing me of doing because you you look stupid and you're dumb and people see right through it. Or really not to the point that they want to commit suicide because again, I bet you this video is going to be completely repetitive of everything that Shannon Rose does this. She repeats, she repeats, repeats. Her brain doesn't work fast enough. So she has to like catch it up and she, oh, I, I missed that thought, gets back up to that thought and then she does it. You're getting so bullied and attacked by his followers. This is wrong. Again, and I've, and, and this, I think, I don't know, someone else said this too. I forget who it was. They said, I send my followers to attack people. Never, ever once in any video. And if you can provide proof, I'd love to see it. Now, I did a video on Asa, on Asa Moss where I said, go leave an honest review about his company, um, about who he is. And if, if maybe that's what she's talking about. But I never have ever advocated for anybody to ever go after anybody, even when I was having beef with other people. Never, ever, ever. And my mods put it in the chat and everything else. Never advocated for it. And you never should. I would like to not be attacked. But nobody should ever attack these people that i'm talking about and if you're an adult and you're going to go attack people then i mean that you're an adult you can do what you want but i'm not going to tell you what to do at the same time i'm never going to advocate for it never going to advocate for doxing you should never do that kind of stuff but she's just saying people send people to attack i've never ever done that and if you can send me a message or a receipt or someone where i've messaged someone and say go attack people i'd love to see it because it's never going to happen i'm never going to do it never will because that would discredit me and i'm smarter than that okay i'm not stupid enough to be out there go get them you know, if people want to come to bat for me, like my friends, I'm happy to take it. And I will go to bat for my friends, but I'm never going to advocate to go after somebody. Unlike Shannon Rose in her last video, right? So, and even if that were the case and it's not, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black, right? Well, there should be a legal. YouTube needs to make some sort of a law against people making videos like this, bullying other people and having their trolls sent over to attack them. My people who watch me are not trolls. They are level-headed, beautiful ladies who are here to stop the exploitation of children. 
So they're not trolls. I, I, I hate when people just say they're trolls. Come on. They're not trolls. I don't call your people trolls. I call your people stands or followers or whatever the case may be. Just let's, can we just get rid of the moniker trolls? It's, it's old, stop. And it's like, you're a boomer for saying it. To the point of people wanting to commit suicide. That she, that's the third time she said it. You, Josh, have bullied to the point of wanting to commit suicide. How does that make you feel? No, I haven't. And again, if, if, that, if that were the case, if, that, if, that, if that's the case and a person reaches out to me and says, look, you're doing videos about me, it's really affecting my mental health, I want you to stop, and they reached out to me and said, you know, stop, I, po I probably would. But at the same time, I'm gonna have to have an honest conversation with that family vlogger and say, you know, I'm happy to stop talking about you. Are you going to stop exploiting your children? Right, there's a, there's a two-way conversation here. Because if in the end you're gonna, use, if you're gonna weaponize the idea that like, if you don't say it, I'm gonna commit suicide, that's never gonna be on me, ever. It's never gonna be on me, I'm never gonna take that. I grew up with a mother who did that, okay? And I've learned through therapy, that is not okay to say. And that's not okay to put that on myself and I never will put, I will never blame myself. If any of these family vloggers decide to do something atrocious and I hope they never do, it's not gonna be because of me and I will not take blame for it. Stop exploiting your children then. If you don't want me doing videos about you, stop doing stupid shit. Because my mission here is clear. I don't do it for, for willy-nilly, I don't do it out of the blue. All the people that I do on this channel, where I cover them, they do this, they exploit. That's it. Okay, well, maybe not Jeffree Star, doesn't exploit kids, but we did a walkthrough of his house, so. But for the majority of what I do on here, it, that's why I come after these people. So, will, will, what she's saying there, she's blaming me for someone else's mental health. I'm sorry, I, won't, I do not accept that. I will not accept that. Let's continue. It can't make you feel good. That's not hey, again. <laughs> If, again, if a guy making fun of you because of what you're doing is like, is triggering you to the point where you are having meltdowns and you're considering all that's get off the internet. Simplest solution ever. Get off the internet. It is not a place for you then. If you're so weak minded that you can't have someone come at you and talk about you, give opinions about you, commentate on your channel, get off the internet. People do it to me all the time. I've been accused of murder, R, and I'm pretty sure in a minute, child R, okay? I have a thick skin, but I understand that that comes with this territory. That is part and parcel of what has to happen here. People don't like what I have to say, so they're gonna come at me in these ways. That is just the way it is. I've accepted it, but I will rebut it if someone says something, right? So no, I do not take any responsibility for that. But you saying that means that you're a douchebag. Right. I really hope before you decide to make another video bullying and bashing someone or your little snark week that you're talking about doing welcome to snark week where you literally bully people like a grown ass man bullying other moms and mom shaming that's rich coming from somebody who created uh, videos about bullying for fetish porn that's rich we're gonna get to it in a minute but she literally calls them slaves and talks about bullying people in her videos like bullying trans people black people like it's crazy that she has slaves so i mean it's just rich the thing that bothers me the most about these types of arguments is the hypocrisy you know she's talking about don't throw stones and glass houses and stuff like that i mean she is of of the of the hypocrites that i've ever spoken about right here she's the worst of them all so you can construe it as bullying if you want i construe it as bringing you education on people who exploit children and exposing them for who they are what's wrong with you i really sorry sorry shannon you hope for your family's sake, that you change. Thanks, ex-fetish porn star actor. I'll take your advice, put it in my pocket, light it on fire, and then throw it in the dumpster when you get home. I appreciate the advice, though. Giving me parenting advice? Jenna Rose, you gotta be kidding me right now. You, you, like, put your kids on the internet naked in a bathtub, and you do crazy stuff. You exploit your children. Don't come at me about parenting advice. I'm sorry. Putting out videos about you calling people N-words and Nazi fetish porn and killing animals while you have children in the world who are gonna find that someday? Don't give me parenting advice. Save it. I'm a perfect example. I changed my life around and you can too. No, you didn't. Be a better person. If not for all of us, at least for your family, for your kids. What you're doing is not cute. It's not funny and it's putting other- I think it's funny. Lives in danger. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go into the video now. And please watch to the end because I say- Hear this things in the video that I shouldn't have said and then I apologize <laughs> at the end of the video so please watch to the end I'm gonna stop you there Shannon so she says watch to the end so I can apologize for the shit I'm about to say okay I've not seen it so right there she released this video where she could have just edited out the parts she had to apologize for 
Don't miss that, okay? All she had to do was not put those parts in the video, but she chose to put lies in a video instead and then say, oh, wait till the end, I apologize for those lies. Hear that, that is crazy, okay? That is somebody who's not mentally stable. She had the ability to delete those things that she lied about, which I think is probably gonna be the child R things, and then she's like, well, I'm gonna stay in the beginning of the video because she knows most people don't watch to the end. I'll apologize at the end. And then she's like, that's my way of getting around it. Nope. Here you go. Hey, you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be doing something that- I don't make fun of her clothes, and that's ugly, but it looks comfortable at least. I stopped doing a while ago, but decided, you know what, I am done not standing up for myself, especially when I feel like people are saying things about me that just are untrue and profiting off of my name and trying to twist things I've done um, to fit their narrative so that they can make money off of me. I'm just like so done with it. This video is going to be about the Dad Challenge podcast. Now, this is the first time I've asked- I want to point out something. She, <laughs> she made an Instagram post called it the podcast dad challenge. And she's like, he blocked me. So I can't even tag him after naming me the podcast dad challenge. But she has blocked me. I've, I've never blocked a family vlogger. I will never block a family vlogger. I often will reach out to family vloggers and say, hey, you want to talk about this? Let's talk about it and see if they want to respond, which likely none of them do, which, you know, I don't blame them. But I've never blocked her. She just tagged the wrong one. And then she tagged my personal profile which is fine, I don't care. Um, but then that's where she sent all the messages and stuff like that. So she uh, she definitely blocked me, not the other way around. I actually watched a video that he made about me because in the past people had sent me like- I'm gonna point out where she got this photo. It's from my detractors. There's a, there's like, a, again, there's a gang of like 40 people who have a lot of cats, probably chain smokers. Um, you know, they probably have really smelly feet. They live in their parents' basement still, or they're like, you know, gross. They. <laughs> They follow certain YouTubers who love to hate me and they're the same 10 people. It's crazy. The same 10 comments over and over again. It's actually laughable, um, but that's where she got this photo. Screenshots of um, this guy and said he was like super creepy and um, like really angry and like mm -hmm. tries to like, I don't know, he like is really against like women um, and like talks. And this is another argument that a lot of my trolls or my haters, whatever you want to call them, they, they say that I'm angry at women. I love women. My entire audience, except for 3%, are women on here. Not only at the end of every video do I make sure that you know you're valuable and beautiful and gorgeous and you look good in those pants. Um, I absolutely love women and women are amazing. You know who, what kind of women I don't like and kind of people in general I don't like are those who take advantage of the kids and exploit them. Those people to me are not human. So yeah, I don't like those women if that's what you mean or their husbands, yeah. So sort of right, but I love women really badly about them and I didn't know anything about this guy um, until really today and I found out something about this guy that <laughs> I've, I didn't know anything about this guy until his five detractors sent me a screenshot because they saw that I was gonna do a video about him and they're like oh my god let's give her all the two I think a lot of people would be shocked about but then if you think about it it makes a lot of sense why he is the way that he is and why he um, makes these type of videos. Mm -hmm. um, I told you why. She, okay, clearly she doesn't know because she doesn't watch the videos. But that's why. Because I don't like exploitation of children. And I'm just going to say that I don't know this to be a fact. This is just something that was told to me after someone that um, has seen him make these videos has said like there's been a lot of drama about this. <laughs> Hear what she just said there. I don't know if this is true, but it's someone that said something that doesn't even know him at all, that's just one of the people that don't like him that said this, so I'm gonna repeat the thing that that person said. Don't forget people, I've been accused of murdering somebody in, where was it, Air, uh, what's Alaska? <laughs> okay, I, I apparently murdered someone in Alaska. So you can now, Shannon Rose is gonna use the word allegedly and say anything she wants right here to say, allegedly he did this. Guy, um, and he talks bad about a lot of people because he's covering up like stuff that he's done in the past mm -hmm. and supposedly and I'm gonna play this video and respond to his video but first I just have to say that um, <laughs> okay. supposedly he used to be a pastor <laughs> um, yeah. a pastor that like talks crap about a bunch of like moms um, just like is kind of rubs yeah. me the wrong way but stop saying moms if we're gonna to come to an agreement here, Shannon Rose, about who we're talking about, I'm talking about parents who exploit their children, not just moms in general. I love moms. 
Moms are my kink. I love stay-at-home moms. They're hot. I love moms. Moms are amazing. Women are beautiful, incredible. But you know who doesn't deserve my respect or me to treat them with respect or kindness? Are people who exploit their children. Let's just land there. Stop just saying moms because there are tons of amazing moms out there. Okay? Stop saying that because that's disingenuous and you're lying. That's nothing. Um, supposedly, he used to be a pastor. And Said that. He got fired. Mm-hmm from his pastor job mm -hmm. um, and allegedly, <laughs> I don't know this to be a fact, this is just what has been told to me, is that mm -hmm. it's because he was um, children. Let me stop you there, Shannon. <laughs> Look, I, 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 whenever someone accuses me of doing something like this, it's like your first intentions, or your, my first like inclination is like yawn and like, of course, you're lying, right? And you don't want to also protest too much, right? Doth he doth protest too much, right? You also want to you want to come at this with a with a with a clear clear head and say absolutely I haven't done what she's saying clearly, and if that were the case, if I were fired for aring children, then I would have been put in prison. Okay, let's be real. If I was fired for that reason, a church doesn't just be like, hey, we're gonna fire you because you did this. Sorry, here's your severance. Give me a break, you idiot. And again, you can't just just because you say the word alleged doesn't mean that what you say here doesn't have power over things. And just because you say alleged, alleged by who? When you say alleged, tell me who alleged this. Again, it's going to be the same five people who live in, who live, you know, who chain smoke and go to bingo and have a hundred cats. And I love cats. But if you're going to come out with your sources and who is alleging it, who is accusing me of aring children? If you're not going to say any of that, then what you just said there has no power. It has, you convinced nobody and you just make yourself look like a damn liar. Don't forget everybody, I do have children. I have adopted kids as well. I have secret clearance with the government because I'm an adoptive dad. I had to work at a church, which also means you have to have clearance and you have to have criminal record checks. The churches I've worked at are very, very, very stern and strict on who can work there. I can go, and I, I was gonna go get a criminal record check today just for fun, just to see. It takes like weeks now because of COVID, but I'm happy to do it for you guys if you wanna see it. She's gonna talk about how like, you can't check my criminal record, you can. Any registered sex offender in Canada can be can be found. Trust me. I've done the search in my neighborhood to see if there's any in my neighborhood. Okay. Also, not that it's anybody's business, and I'll tell this in my story, but I was also a victim of SA. Okay. And so was my sister. And we lived in a world like this. Okay. So if you're gonna come at me with saying shit like that just because I was a pastor, and you know what pisses me off the most about this, and she is rebutted, and she said that's not what I meant to say, is that just because I was a pastor, everybody automatically says, okay, he was a pastor, so he's a child. R. To me, that's disgusting. But I almost don't want to blame them because it's all like the church is like kind of to blame for fostering this type of behavior. And we'll talk about it in another video. But again, that's the first thing she's going to go do because she thinks it's going to have the most teeth. Right? She's like, I'm going to make this accusation because some weirdos with cats said it with no proof, no receipts, and we'll just see if it sticks. Because in some cases that does stick on the internet, but it won't here because literally I don't even have a speeding ticket. This whole thing where he, and again, like, I don't know for this to be a fact this is just what i know i know he's been fired she just said this is what i know i don't know this to be a fact but this is what i know pastor um to be fired as a pastor i feel like you have to like really do some messed up stuff um you know we've thanks shannon rose ex porn star that you know how churches work really tell me how churches work the internal workings of church pretty sure if you walked in church you'd like you'd catch fire <laughs> what about this in the news happening a ton of times unfortunately is she comparing me to josh duggar because my name's josh does she think i'm josh duggar I mean, damn it, we have the same kind of beard. But no, I'm not Josh Duggar, sorry. And he's not a pastor either. Or was he? You work at a Christian camp or something? It's disgusting, but this person... Also, I want to just point out that this, from a fetish porn actress, she's saying the word, that's disgusting, when she did the most disgusting things ever. That's like trying to talk horrible things about other people, saying that they're horrible people, when really... Mm -hmm. Like, you know how people say, um, you know, hurt people, hurt people, and that they're just mm -hmm. projecting how they're feeling inside. I can't help but to sit here and be like, what a piece of sh this person is. If mm -hmm. you're trying to sit here and, and point your finger at everybody else saying that they're a bad person when you supposedly and allegedly. Supposedly and allegedly. Children. Look at her face here. I want to stop her here. And she thinks that this is going to be some kind of like. Hit it out of the park. Look what I've done. I've ruined his whole life. Shannon Rose, you're dumb. If you have no receipts and you're going to come at me by saying that I'm a child R, just because you say allegedly and supposedly doesn't, and she says supposedly, not with the D. Just, that's why I'm saying it. Um, you discredited yourself even more if, if that's even more possible. If that's even possible to completely discredit yourself more than you already have. Um, but 
you're coming at someone who's not going to stand by and just let you make an allegation of me and just be silent about it. Because no, never happened. Never would have ever happened. I, if you ask anybody who ever worked with me at that church anyway, I have a stand-up reputation. Always have and have always stood up for kids. It's always been my thing because I was abused when I was a child. The reason why I do this is because of my childhood. The reason I, I stand up for kids who don't have voices is because I was that child. I mean, I'm not telling you guys all that to say, what was me? She just, she's sitting here with a little smug grin thinking, I'm gonna ruin this guy's life. And she just completely lied. And if she apologizes at the end of this video for saying what she just said there, then she completely just said herself even more. But there's no receipts. So when you call someone a child R, you better have damn receipts. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about it. I can't sue her because I'm in Canada and she can't really sue me because I'm here. But you just, she thinks, how dumb she is, you'd say the word allegedly. So allegedly has seven toes. She allegedly takes humongous dumps, like huge, like you can't even flush the toilet. You have to have a poop knife to cut it and flush it down the toilet, allegedly. Allegedly eats guys' testicles. Actually, no, that's not allegedly. She has a video where she talks about eating guys' testicles. Allegedly has 100 dead bodies in her basement. See, you can say allegedly and then put anything after and you, and you think you can get away with it. It's not true, okay? She has no receipts for anything and she was... On, on, on Instagram last night, she said, this guy is this, he's a, he's a pedo, he's a Pluto. And then in the next slide, she's like, can anybody send me proof of the thing I just said, please? And then again, another thing she posted was she, she posted a way to flag my video for, <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. So she said, here's how you flag his video. Please go flag his video on mass to get it off. And here's how you flag it. Click here, click here, click here. And then when you click to this thing, say animal abuse. And the video I'm showing is of her abusing an animal so she not only says in her instagram stories proves that what is happening is animal abuse while saying it doesn't it's not animal abuse it's crazy to me so yeah this this goes deep this is crazy so i just want to make sure i'm covering every aspect of her dumb face here and and then you're she allegedly wears granny panties she allegedly picks her nose and eats it she allegedly never changes underwear for like three days it's like inside outside backward forward then you're good she doesn't like doing laundry. Can you blame her? She allegedly is a vegan, but she eats steak. Burn. Other mom bloggers exploiting their children on YouTube, but you are raising children, supposedly. <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> oh, I love it. Or have in the past. I mean, <sighs> wow. Wow. Wow is right. Now I'm going to show you guys a little video before we get into her video about... I'm going to obviously crop this to the degree I can because there's ads all over it. Okay, so I wanna show you guys this video here. Again, trigger warning, this is not for children to watch. Um, she's not, there's no nudity or anything like that. It's just that I wanna show you guys what she has done in this video here. I want my shoes back clean before I go outside and step into my I don't know if you can see, I know it's a small window, um, but she is, there's a black man laying on the ground and he's licking her shoes and she's saying, I want my shoes effing cleaned. Marble floors. Obviously, I'm blanking what she just said there, but it's the N-word with a hard R, okay? She's walking out with a bag of cotton balls, and this black guy is crawling out with a mask on. And the title is Goddess Randy and Her Cotton Pickin' Slave. Tell me you're an effing N word. Called him a porch monkey. A porch monkey N word. And what are you good at? No, you're not good at anything. Exactly. Now, just stay there. You're going to pick cotton like your So I've seen a lot of stuff in my life. Okay, I grew up in a really, really disgusting type of household, which like this stuff was not, this stuff was normal, but like, anyway, I've seen a lot of stuff in my life. But when I watched this, I like had a visceral reaction. Like I had to like pause it a bunch of times. I couldn't watch it fully through, but she's like, you're gonna pick cotton like your ancestors did. Now, she has claimed that this is all scripted and it's like acting and everything, but who writes this script? Then out the person who wrote this script, because I'd like to know who thinks this is appropriate. So I don't even want to continue on with that because it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Now, you guys know, and maybe some of you don't know, that my mother, okay, my mother is half black, 
and half native Indian. And some of the racism that we, that I, I didn't really experience a lot of racism growing up. I experienced it through my mother. Okay. So my mother was absolutely like, and not, and not outright crazy. Cause we did also grow up very poor in poor neighborhoods and stuff like that. But I did secondhand receive racism. And I saw my mom go through that type of stuff. People calling her the N word and all that kind of stuff. We live in a world where racism is one of the most hot button topics of all time than it has ever been in my lifetime. Anyway, what I'm saying here is that when was this ever appropriate? Okay. And she's like, that's my past. And let's, let's not forget that she said this was like 20 years ago. Shannon Rose is 34, I think, or 35. So at most 20 years ago, she was 15. Was she acting in pornography videos when she was 15? The company that she worked for should be in prison. Whoever cited, whoever, whoever signed her as a 15 year old porn star should be in prison. Likely it wasn't likely she was saying, like she's saying it was like 20 years ago. So people are like, oh, it's so long ago. It wasn't, it was six years ago that she stopped doing this stuff. Six years ago. So this isn't even like a time where it was like acceptable. Obviously it's never acceptable to do this, but it, that to me right there, this is the reason why Shannon Rose did this video about me and accused me of being a child R because she's now seeing that I have these videos. I told her I had them and she's trying to come out ahead of it and get me canceled or arrested or whatever the case may be by making baseless claims, accusations. She's scared about this video that I'm doing right now. And she should be because what she has done in that video is the most disgusting thing any human could be to anybody else. And I've asked her and asked her in the chat that we were having, have you apologized to that man for doing what you did to him on video? Has the, has the production company that did that? And again, this isn't all Shannon Rose's fault. There's a cameraman there. There's a producer behind the scenes funding this. And now we got to find out who does this stuff and we have to call them out because it's not just her. It's the company and she still makes money on this. Everybody don't forget that or she, maybe she doesn't. She said that she bought out her contract. So I'm not sure if she got paid or whatever the case was. She bought herself out of this contract. She said she, she realized how terrible of a life it was and she wanted out, but she still made the choice to be in it. But after watching that, if you guys don't have a visceral reaction and understand this type of person that she is, then I don't know what to do for you. But that's why I'm so angry at who she is. That's why I say when you are in this industry, think twice about having children, bringing kids into that world. I found that stuff, or I think it was my mods. My mods found that stuff in 10 seconds. Okay. It's on Twitter. It's everywhere. That is going to be forever for Shannon Rose. Okay. Forever. And that's just one video of so many videos. I'll cover some more in tomorrow's video. Cause it's gotta be two parts. This is going to be insanely long. So maybe I'll get into a video after, but we'll see. But by, if you watch that video and aren't just completely sickened and disgusted, then like, I don't know what to do for you. Am I saying that she can't be forgiven, that she can't be redeemed, that she can't move on from this? No. But at the same time, there are ramifications for this. So when you come out against companies and ask your followers to go attack them because they're discriminating against your fetish porn past, then that's where people are going to say, eh, you're not a victim here. Actually, you, you are the one doing the victimization. If you're talking about systemic racism and things that exist in this world that shouldn't, that is one of the things that should not exist. I don't care if someone needs that to get off, then go get castrated, go live in a, go fall down a well and you don't belong in this world if that's what you need, because that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. And I think a lot of you will say that we talked about the Nazi porn yesterday and we talked about the killing of animals, which she has claimed she didn't do. And then there's people in my comment section be like, it's been proven that, uh, lobsters and them don't have feelings. No, it's still an animal you killed. And then the other argument is that, well, shame on you. If you eat lobster because they boil these things, I don't eat lobster cause I'm not rich, but okay. But eat, you're eating the animal. If you're going to kill an animal to eat it, it is different than squishing it for a porn video and not eating it, right? Can we agree on that at least? Like there is a distinction to be made there, right? If you're squishing an animal on a porn video for fetish porn, are you boiling it after and eating it? Maybe we'll talk then, but you're, you're not. There is a difference. That's why so many people get so up in arms when people go out and kill giraffes and beautiful animals just for fun. I am not a guy who hunts, who thinks hunting for fun is cool. And I'm, some of people might think I'm wrong for saying that. Hunting for fun is stupid. I don't think you should kill animals, for, but if you need, if I need to eat, then yeah, kill an animal and eat it. That's just the way I believe. So let's be there. But she's a vegan. So she said, I'm a vegan now. So it's all forgiven. Apparently somebody came out and said, PETA had a, a, an arrangement with her where she was doing an ad for PETA. Then PETA found out she did that. And then they took away that sponsorship too. Like people need to start doing research on who you're sponsoring because this person is lit, has done literally some of the gross, oh, I'm going to say the, I'm a, some, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there's even a snuff video out there, like a fake snuff video that she did. Like she has done everything. There has been videos that have been removed that she has paid to have removed that we'll never see. Hopefully it's probably on the dark web, but she has done things. If you think that's bad, she's done way worse, right? Throwing cotton and telling a, a guy an N word to go pick up every piece of cotton, like your ancestors. If that doesn't get you canceled in this day and age, I don't know what will. 
where where are people where's people outrage on this wow i don't know this to be true i don't think that he's been charged for this i think that this was just like an under you know like one of those things that's like happened and people found out and supposedly that's why he was fired as a pastor i think he- <laughs> what is she saying here if people found out i did what she's saying i did there i would be in jail i would literally be in jail if I got fired for that reason, the church would have no choice but to put me in jail, like to charge me. I would be in jail. So she's like, I don't know, I don't know, but I think maybe somebody found out or somebody did something. Again, no receipts. Nobody has receipts because ex- the receipts don't exist. If you want to know why I was fired, head over to the Dad Challenge podcast, type in why I'm an ex-pastor. There's like a seven part series. Watch it. That'll tell you exactly why I'm fired. And you know how you can know? Because I recorded the meeting where they fired me. Their words. You can hear it with your own ears. Even if you hate me, you want to hear you want to hear me emotionally getting fired. Go listen to it if you hate me. Hate hate watch it, okay? I got fired because I was not a good fit. But then I obviously tell you the reason why I think I was fired. If you go watch those videos, okay? So if you really want to know, there's proof out there. And if you really want to know, go ahead and reach out to the church and ask them yourself. Okay? So I take personal offense though when you assume just because I'm a pastor that I'm a child R. If you believe that, you can go suck an egg a whole nother story that he's trying to tell people of why he was fired as a pastor but supposedly that story if you don't say supposedly with a d again i'm gonna snark every video you ever had is one big lie um and allegedly she eats botox for breakfast again this is all allegedly this is just things that i've been (laughs) again this is all allegedly so everything i just said there that is super damning that could ruin someone's life who has children and everything else it's alleged so just in case i was wrong allegedly lawyers are you listening I don't know. I haven't dug into his past. That's not something I want. So you haven't dug in. You haven't seen anything. But you're sitting. You're you're not going to say you know nothing about me. But you know that I child art. You know that. But you don't know anything else about me except for that thing. You think that I would be on the internet if I was a person who did that? You think I would put myself out publicly in the internet if I did something like that? Are you are you? How dumb are these people who say these types of things? Again, there are some people that vis- so viscerally hate me for for perceived. I don't know. I I don't know why. Um, because I, they think I'm coming after women for whatever reason, they just, or they're just bored and they love drama, that they'll say things like, I murdered someone in Alaska, or I are children. Can you imagine being a person that just literally can just say that and like have no, no feeling of remorse whatsoever? Be like, yeah, I'm gonna say that, no problem, cool. I could never do that to somebody. So I'll always say this, if you, if you exploit your children, if you use them to make money on your channel, and you have no, there's no other way you're making money, and you have, you're doing it without their consent, Okay, which you're never gonna get because they're children. Remember, we talked to Dr. Kirk about that. Okay, you are exploiting children. I think that Shannon Rose comes from such a dark world that as soon as she hears the word exploitation, she probably goes to the weirdest, grossest, most disgusting thing ever because she lived in that world. Now, on the surface, is exploitation of children on YouTube, you know, the worst thing that could ever happen to them? No. Like, I don't think it's gonna be like the worst thing that could ever happen to them. And some of them might come out on the other side very good, but it could be the worst thing that happens to some of them, right? It could de- detriment their futures. But the one thing I always stand on is then, why are we waiting for some creeper to go do something crazy because he stands one of these fans, one of these families, right? Then in the end, that's the thing I'm most scared of. Not that, you know, and they're gonna get bullied in high school because that's gonna happen anyway. Not that they're, you know, the period videos on the internet for their future friends to see and teachers and all that. That stuff's bad, but the thing I'm most scared of is the creepers who are watching and we've proved time and time and time and time and time and time and time again how many creepy people are watching these kids. I almost have to like, I'm only five minutes in this video and I'm an hour into this video, so I might have to, continue this tomorrow? Does one continue this tomorrow? Let me see, where's she going? Take my time to do. Um, but what I do want to take my time to do is to um, talk to you guys and respond to this video because I am getting <laughs> a ridiculous amount of messages from his um, fault. My, your trolls. Words that I am racist and dis- Shannon Rose, you are racist, okay? You did racist fetish porn nazi fetish and called a black guy an n-word i bet you if i counted hundreds of times that is racism okay i don't care if you're under contract to do it i don't care if it was a script that is racist if you think it was okay ever to do that you have racism deep embedded embedded deep inside your heart if you ever thought that was okay and the fact that you did it thought that you realized that you thought that was okay because it helped somebody who had a kink so you are racist that's not allegedly we have proof and receipts of your racism. So you are straight up racist. Casting and a horrible person and that I'm a Nazi. 
Well, should we show you this photo again? I mean, you say you're not a Nazi, but this photo here, hmm, looks like you are. Now, do I think she's a real true, you know, Nazi? No. But, I mean, you play one on TV, I guess. How about we say that? Um, so yeah, let's just get into this video. First of all, this video is super freaking long. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to get through it. So this is- Okay, okay, we're gonna, <laughs> she's gonna go through my entire video and I'm already an hour into this video. So we're gonna have to come back for a part two. I don't wanna make these so long. I want you guys to be able to, it might be a three-parter video because I've never experienced this type of thing right, where this much drama's come at me. But I wanted to rebut her first part of that video to talk to you guys about her allegation against me. And of course she doesn't have receipts, of course. But let's go to the end of the video quickly. So yeah, like a lot of his like followers are like already, cause this video was posted a while ago. So I have a lot of it. Oh my God, wait, did he just message me? Okay, so he has a different account that I didn't even realize that I'm not blocked from. Cause so I guess he has- I didn't block her. Why'd she keep saying that? Shannon, just go into your Instagram, go to my name and unblock me. I haven't blocked you. Multiple Instagram accounts, most trolls do. I'm not a troll, that's my personal account, which is privated, dumbass. Um, he says, yo, you have me blocked, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> he just called me a dumbass, I never- You are a dumbass, allegedly. Block people, can't wait to hear what you have on me. I look forward to it, cheerio. This guy's such a douchebag. <laughs> allegedly, Shannon, I'm allegedly a douchebag. Um. Anyway, I didn't block him. I didn't even know who he was. You did block me. I'm pissed that she's saying I blocked her. I don't block anybody. I don't take off negative comments and she accused me of that. I don't remove negative comments. I love negative comments. Bring them. I make entire videos on those negative comments. It gives me more content. I love them. So don't accuse me of something I don't do. I, maybe I have a couple of mods that will go in and delete like racist ones or something, but they know not to delete negative comments. They know that. They're not supposed to. So she's a liar. Uh, a lot of people who comment, they're saying, I'm commenting and I can't see it. They were blocked in the past for saying something shitty. That's what happened. They're shadow banned from my channel. So they leave a comment and it doesn't show up. But I will not remove negative comments. If you're shadow banned in the past for saying something stupid, that's your own fault. But I do not delete negative comments. I couldn't find him online. And then he was, oh, and now he just- Couldn't find me online, but you found out I was a child R. That's amazing. Yeah, a picture of- You're like Matlock only did fetish porn. Goddess Randy and her cotton picking slave. So again, these are all videos that I've already talked about. And he's like, <laughs> did you talk about them? Did you show them on your channel like I just did? Oh, look at this. What are those things? Are those otters? He goes, they're in the water now, swimming on the edge. Oh yeah, that's a mink. Oh, they're minks. There's minks here. Anyway, uh, yeah, Shannon, I'm sure you said that you did these things, but did you show people? Because if you showed people this, I'm pretty sure you'd have no fans. So yeah, you probably talked about it and said, hey, don't go look at it, but I did it. Okay, I just showed you one, and we'll show you more in tomorrow's video. Okay, you guys are gonna be dis absolutely disgusted. I'll read some things to you. It doesn't end. When you see it for yourself, okay, it, it's different than someone just saying, oh, don't go look at it. I did, it was okay. It was not, it wasn't good, but it was like, it was like whatever, I was contracted. I didn't even know about this one. What other videos did you do? Maybe just tell me here. Listen, dude, I don't like, want really anything to do with you, but. She says that, and then she messaged me like 400 times today. Today. We're playing that game. I'm not, I, I was the kind of guy, I'm generally the kind of guy that doesn't show you inbox stuff, but she's doing it. So yeah, just so you guys can see, I don't know if you can see that. Like she messaged me a hundred times. Also, if you were even charged with it and you did go to jail, we wouldn't know because in Canada, none of that is public record. <laughs> Mugshots, um, even registered um, pedophiles, it's all private. So she's, how do you know that Shannon? It's not true. We're anyway, arresting. she sent me a whole bunch of it, this stuff. So she's like, I'm, I don't want anything to do with you, but here's a million messages. This looks like um, it's on some website. So this looks like, so like I said, I paid the company to have these videos taken down, which was- Well, get your money back, because they're everywhere. Dumbass, allegedly. Cheap. Um, and, uh, oh wait, hold on, there's people. So they're saying that um, he has been attacking a channel called Fathering Autism, who's like the biggest advocate for autism. That's what they're saying. The leg humpers are going for Shannon. I guess they're all trying to connect, right? They, they're probably, that might even be Ace and Moss messaging her and saying, oh, Josh is getting hit. So Ace is gonna go send her some stuff. Did you know that he did a video with Weiss Life's bio dad? Oh, he's so evil. Yes, that's what they do. So I, I get it. I, I, maybe, I, maybe I deserve it. But yeah, I'm coming after fathering autism and I do it. I don't snark on fathering autism. Maybe this week, we'll see. But yeah, 
That is disgusting. Do you even, she doesn't even know. That is disgusting. Do you know that he exploits his 16 year old autistic daughter for money and craziness? Go watch the video before you say some shit. Because Father Yonazim's, next to you is probably one of the most other hated YouTubers on the internet. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just not right. Apology accepted. Like, it's one thing to go after me for this stuff, but to go after somebody that's like, has a kid that's autistic, like what is wrong with you? Go watch the videos for yourself, Shannon, and then you make an informed choice. Something's not right. I mean, something tells me that you wouldn't care so much based on, you know, what you do, but we'll agree to disagree on that one. Yes, I've done racial humiliation porn. There's nothing new, there's stuff that I've talked about, it's not stuff I'm proud of. This was a very long time ago, again. Again, just talking about it is not good enough. What reparations have you made for doing that? What you've done, has, like that's disgusting that that exists. And maybe you should sue the company that has it out there to get it gone, not just pay to get it gone. What are you doing to fix that? A different person, but talking about ex You're not a different person. You're just exploiting in a different way. Exploiting people, like, or he, he gets on like family YouTubers for exploiting their kids, but oh my God, your channel, all it is is exploiting people and exploiting somebody with autism, like their kid. <laughs> I love it. Dude. This guy is just a creeper. I don't like him. Says the lady who threw cotton balls at a black guy, called him an N-word and told him to pick it up. I am the creeper. Says the lady who crushed animals. Says the lady who wore a Nazi costume and made fetish porn. Really. Says the lady who says that he they chopped off a guy's balls and ate them. I am the creeper. Okay. Maybe a little bit. And that's, that's hard for me to say. I try to give people like the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. That sounds like you gave me the benefit of the doubt when you called me a child R. Absolutely sounds like that. And and I know that this, he's probably hurting. Okay, hold on, let me like. <sighs> I'm not hurting, not at all. I need to try to take away my feelings from like one. From this hour and a half video you just did, okay. Be defensive and like stand up for myself because of things that are being said about me that aren't true, but I just. What's not true that I said? She keeps telling me that I was a liar and that's not true. What have I said that's not true? Is she going to argue that it's not true to exploit her kids? Because she can maybe argue that, but it's, it is true. That's my truth. I think that's the truth of the world. Everybody kind of agrees that taking advantage of a child without their consent is exploitation. So if that's what she's saying I'm lying about, what else have I lied about? I provide receipts, unlike you, called me a child R, with no receipts, taken, you know, from some of my YouTube detractors, just taking their word for it and saying allegedly, supposedly. Supposedly. This. Because I know that, like I said, I keep saying it, hurt people hurt people. These are the type of people that need the most love. No thanks, I'll pass. Yours probably comes with things I don't want attached to me. And this is hard for me to do because more than anything, I wanna just not like him. And I wanna not like all the people that like make mean videos about me. But well, that's a lot of people. At the same time, I need to realize like, that I shouldn't be, if I don't want to be judged, I shouldn't be judging others either. So why don't you just say that? <laughs> and then that's a 30 second video. Hey, you know what? I don't want to judge other people, so I'm not going to judge people. But this guy's a child R. Come on. You're so disingenuous and you're like, you can't just do an hour and a half video where you're bashing me and calling me all these names and then say, wait a second, I don't want to bash somebody. And so. <sighs> Come on. I'm sorry for anything that I said that was mean to you in this video. If I. <laughs> Apology accepted, Shannon. Said things that were hurtful or mean or whatever. It's because I was upset that you. No, bring it. Bring the drama. Say whatever you want about me. Call me a child R. I hope she apologizes for calling me a child R. That's the one thing I hope she apologizes. You can make fun of me all you want. I am not a perfect person. I am pretty ugly. I can't dance. I got weird hair. I got weird big ass nose. Make fun of me all you want. I'm go for it. Don't call me a child R. Apologize for that. For saying things about me that weren't true. Again, and tell me what I said about you that's not true, then I'll apologize. There's one thing I missed, and I'll show it in tomorrow's video, that she said I shouldn't make fun of kids' names, and I had a couple comments. I've been thinking about that, absolutely right, and Shannon, I do want to apologize to you for making fun of your kids, Snow and Storm, their name. I do think that it's not their fault you named them that, and in not trying to make fun of them as people, just trying to say, like, think of our kids when they get older kind of thing, but it fell short, shouldn't have said it. Like, reaction to want to like stand up for myself and then like attack back. Attack away. And so if for some reason 
you didn't do these things that people have messaged me saying about you molesting kids, then I'm sorry. And <laughs> who said it? If you're just going to say some, if you're never going to just say who said it and send me screenshots or whatever the case may be. And if it's an account with like zero followers or like no avatar picture or anything like that, you're just going to say those things. That is quite slanderous. So who's, who's to, who said you didn't make those accounts and email that to yourself? Okay. I know it's not, I know who did it, but okay. So now you're going to say, well, if I'm wrong, sorry. That is not something that, um, is like, should be talked about just like, I feel like someone killing animals is also not something that should just be spread around the internet. If it's not, you did it. I have a receipt. There's a video. What? True. And so, um, it is true. There's a video of you killing the animal. What am I, am I taking crazy pills? If those things aren't true, then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh my and gosh. I'm sorry if I said that you're creepy and all these different things. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. That's not right. That's very immature of me. Oh, go for it. To some people I'm creepy. I don't want to stoop down to your level of calling me names because I just don't think that's the right thing to do. We're adults and we need to. Did she just make an hour and a half video making fun of me and then say, don't make fun of me because we're adults. Okay. Makes sense good examples for other people that are watching us right now and my mom has always taught me two wrongs don't make it right so even if someone is being did your mom tell you not to do fetish porn she should have told you that too just saying hey maybe rethink doing those ones what do your parents think about what you did i'd like to know that mean to you to not be mean back to them so i just i need to end the video with just saying that i'm sorry if i said things that were not nice um but i did just want to just make this video to defend myself and to all right We'll do the rest. We'll do the whole middle part tomorrow. Anyway, we will be back tomorrow. That is crazy. There's more to talk about. She does. She dismantles my whole video. She tries to do my snark on me. <laughs> we'll do it. Guys, take a deep breath. Please don't attack anybody that comes after me. I got this. I can handle myself. But I appreciate you guys going to bat for me. I really love that you guys stand up for me and that you're willing to, you know, stand for the truth. And it is the truth. What she said there is an absolute lie. And at the end, she had to apologize for it whatever it is what it is we will get the rest of this down take a deep breath you're beautiful gorgeous just lovely know your worth know your value please don't do fetish porn because we can't be friends if you do i love you i will see you tomorrow <laughs>